So as Ukrainian forces retake territory east of Kyiv, right where Fred is, a soldier who captured a Russian anti uh, Russian tank posted a message to social media about the counteroffensive. Listen to this. The operation has been a complete success. We decisively repelled the enemy. According to preliminary data, there were about 200 Russian troops. Some of them are in the ground. While others escaped, three tanks and nine BPM. There is one of them here, which is now ours. Well, joining us now to talk about all of this uh, is, Gen is retired General Philip Breedlove. He is a former NATO Supreme Allied Commander for Europe. And General, let's just begin with the reporting we just got from our Fred Plekton on the ground in Kyiv. Uh, there are multiple ways and multiple uh, intelligence reports that have told us how much success the Ukrainians are having in protecting Kyiv and how many roadblocks, literal roadblocks and logistic issues Russia I is running into uh, in and around Kyiv. Do, do you believe that the success the Ukrainian forces are having, particularly there, will continue? I do, and thanks for having me on this morning. And the successes are not only on the east side, as you have shown, they're pushing them back on the east, but in what is now being called the Buka pocket to the west, also near Irpin, as you were talking about earlier, a large contingent of Russian forces are now in danger of being surrounded by Ukrainians and cut off. And so the Ukrainians are making some really smart moves both to the east and to the west of Kyiv. Mm. And it's going to be a challenging time for the Russians there, as you have pointed out, because of some of their very drastic logistic issues. Every day this goes on, General, more Ukrainian civilians are being killed. Innocent civilians. We see more pictures of it. We saw pictures of it from that Mariupol theater moments ago. And I do believe we've got some new images in from Kharkiv in the far east where there was this humanitarian aid line, a line of oh. civilians waiting for humanitarian aid right in the city, hit oh. by a rocket attack or some kind of attack right in broad daylight. This is a humanitarian aid station. We understand that, that six people may have been killed there. And just, General, just uh, how, how do you explain these clearly civilian locations, civilian targets with just no military value being hit. Uh, there is no exclamation. This is a war crime and we're watching it play out. And and the, and the Russians need to be held accountable. Uh, just yesterday uh, at Mariupol, a relief column going in was attacked and the relief people and their, mach their buses and things were taken. And now we see yet another humanitarian quarter or line or relief station attack. This is happening all the time. And in the end, we're going to have to hold Russia accountable for this. General, to, to build off what John just, and that was the first time I'd seen that video. It's just so, it's so jaw dropping. Um, you have warned, General, that the more frustrated Putin gets by all of these setbacks that he clearly did not expect, the more dangerous he gets. So what does that mean for civilians like those who are waiting in line for aid? It's going to get worse. It's going to get worse and worse. Mr. Putin has been unable to meet Ukrainian forces in these big force on force battles, which he really wants. And the Ukrainians are fighting this wonderful skirmishing rear attack ambush kind of fight that frustrates the military advance of, of Russia and believe it frustrates Mr. Putin because his army is not accomplishing his goals and he gets more and more dangerous every day. And when they can't fight the Ukrainian troops, they are going to fight and kill Ukrainian civilians, as you have seen. Uh, the risk is going up every day because of the frustration of Putin and his army. Well, General Philip Breedlove, we appreciate your expertise uh, on all of this. Thank you for your time.